And it's the kind of crash that is everyone's nightmare, and we're now learning more about that deadly wreck that left the interstate closed for nearly five hours during this morning's commute on the north side of Indianapolis. First, take a look at this photo from Indiana State Police of the car completely crushed. At around 5.30 this morning, law enforcement was notified of a serious crash on eastbound I-465 around the Meridian Street exit, a crash involving a white Nissan Sentra car and a FedEx tractor trailer. The Nissan was going the wrong way on the interstate state, resulting in a head-on collision with the FedEx truck. That crash killed 24-year-old Milka Alvarado Polanco of Indianapolis. All lanes of eastbound I-465 between Meridian Street and Keystone Avenue were closed, as well as the southbound US-31 on-ramp to I-465, while emergency crews worked to extricate the driver of the car, who was dead upon arrival. Initial indications are from the truck driver from speaking with him that uh, it was just it happened so fast that all of a sudden he saw headlights and, and the crash was there. It was right in front of him. It wasn't really anything that he could do at that point. And state police say that investigators, the driver of the truck, was taken to the hospital without serious injuries and a person sleeping in the berth of the truck came away unharmed. There's no word yet as to why the driver was going the wrong way on the interstate or for how long.